Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am back with another episode of Best of Christmas Craft Fair series and this is going to be another quick video. Um, so I apologize again for my voice, but we're going to get through this. So these are super fun um, ideas that you can make. I used a file, a PDF file from the Cutting Cafe. Look how cute these are. They are um, Christmas checklists. It's kind of a way to keep track of you know your Christmas spending um, so Christmas cards to send and then gift checklist and you just print out a few of these sheets I think I printed out like um, 12 on each side and staple them together you can put a little pearl or something on there if you want to and then put it on the cardstock decorate the front as elaborate or as simple as you want to and you're done this is an easy and inexpensive craft uses one eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock and one twelve by twelve sheet of paper and it's a great way to use up your stash get rid of those Christmas papers that you don't want to hoard over to the next year and um, I ran out of copy paper so what I started to do was just make the blank templates um, for all of them so that when I'm ready to um, go get some more copy paper I'll be all set to go I just use the die cuts from the paper collection which I'll show you here shortly to decorate the front I was gonna put ribbon and all that on there but keep it simple you can sell these for one dollar and put them in the bin or dollar fifty if you'd like but it's just an easy way to keep track of your spending maybe two dollars if you if you do it really really nice depends on how much paper you put on the inside but this is what that looks like I thought this one was super cute and all I did was just take the journaling cards that was on the cards on the in the 12 by 12 paper and cut it out popped it up on some dimensionals the paper pad was five dollars at Michaels so easily easily can get your money back really quickly here so we're gonna make one today um, really fast and then we're gonna we're gonna go I guess <laughs> so come and craft and chat with me not much chatting because my throat is sore so we're going to cut down your base. I'm using 8.5 by 11 craft cardstock. And this is going to be cut down to 7 and 3 quarter square. Really easy. All right. And then I shall move this aside to a, uh, for a second. You're going to need your printables uh, from the Cutting Cafe. I will link these down below. There's also a miscellaneous notes tab. This file also comes with like little tabs that you can make like a whole book out of this. I just took literally two things from this list or from this file to use for this quick project. So this is loaded with lots of fun stuff that you can add as stocking stuff or, or gifts for people for the holidays. So if you want to do this, now is the time because people will be starting to do their stuff for the holidays here pretty soon. So I'll put the link in the description box. But you'll need both of these. And like I said, I stapled 12 of these together and I used my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. And um, I just put two small staples on each side. Really easy. You got your paper. I cut out um, some die cuts from the paper collection. And this is the paper pad that I'm using like I said it's from Michaels it, uh, it's called safe freeze it's by craftsmith <coughs> and excuse me and um <coughs> really it's a really fun and festive holiday paper it's got some ugly sweaters you can make a nice advent calendar out of this if you'd like really fun and vibrant um, holiday patterns lots of journaling tags in here so if you were doing like the pillow box episode that I did that would be great to take the tags off and put on there so anyway I just cut out all of that <clears throat> and use it as a topper so I'm gonna move the trimmer out for a quick second I'm gonna grab my scoreboard and then we're just gonna score this at three and three quarters and four I'm gonna flip it over and give it a good score on both of those marks <clears throat> okay and then I'm going to bring my trimmer back out and just pull a piece I should have did that while I was out here and just pull out a piece of paper I'm trying to see what paper I used already which one I didn't so we can get some fun colors okay <clears throat> now we're just going to cut this down 
two. So it's seven and three quarters is the is the mat of the paper, and you just want to cut that down an eighth of an inch smaller. Seven and five eighths. Just a sliver shorter than what you cut the previous papers. And then you're gonna cut this one, it's three and three quarters minus an eighth of an inch. So three and one, two, three, four, five eighths as well. Three and five eighths, and then seven and five eighths. You can use wet glue. I bought out my whoa. This is why I don't. This is why I, don't, I have a love-hate relationship with this ATG gun. But I bought out an oldie but goodie. She was working fine up until now. But <clears throat> just grab whatever adhesive you're going to use and attach your paper on here evenly. It has a nice little border on here. Here we go. Come on now. And I just use one sheet. Now you can cut up your whole 12 by 12s or how many ever you think you're going to do. And then mix and match. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can mix and match your whole paper collection. <clears throat> and just have different ones. You know, two different patterns on the outside. Two on the inside if you'd like. Mix it up a little bit. But I just used one 12 by 12 and made the one work for each of the little planners. It was easier for me. Okay. This is the last one. I'm all I'm just all off camera, but just imagine me putting it on there. Okay, so that's that. I've already stapled obviously my checklist. And you're going to need some either red line tape or some type of double sided tape. So I'm using this tape I got from Hobby from um, Tuesday morning. It's just red tape. It's a good adhesive, um, double sided adhesive. And I'm just going to add it to the back at the top of both of these. Okay, and then peel that off, and then put that there, just kind of center it the best way you can. And this is just a basic book, you can make, it's the files on there are so elaborate that, I mean these files on there are so plentiful that you can make an elaborate piece if you'd like. <clears throat> so then I'm going to take this journaling piece, and then just add this chili to it so this piece is going to be flat flush against the, the little checklist here and I cut it down from the paper pad and then this piece is going to have pop dots on it One, two, let's do one more in the middle. And then that's going to pop up right there. And we're done. That's it. Let me bring out the rest of these. That was fast and easy. And then you can make just a bunch of these using all of your Christmas paper and put these in a nice little bin <clears throat> to, display it, <clears throat> to display at your craft table and you're good to go. Alright guys, uh, thank you so much for watching another episode of Best of Craft Fair Favorites. Check the links in the description box for everything that I've mentioned here in this video. And like I said, the pricing for these will probably be... Um, I probably do a dollar fifty for these because they, they don't take much. And if I sell five, I've paid my my whole paper pad back that I've used for a whole bunch of other things. So um, it didn't take any time to make. So um, you you choose whichever price you'd like, and um, that's what I think I'm gonna price mine at. And I'm gonna make about twenty of these, um, depending on if I have the time and all that kind of stuff. So 
that's that craft hopefully you guys will try it it makes a great stocking stuffer either way a friend co-worker gift even if you're not in the craft fair it's just a great idea check out the file so that you can make like the whole planner that regina had in mind all right thank you guys for watching bye